Well, you know by now it is definitely a bittersweet morning for me. My time on the weekend mornings has come to an end. I've been doing this show for 15 years, and within that time, this is so hard to believe, but I've worked with 12 different co-anchors, meteorologists, garden experts, home improvement experts, yet this one seat right here has remained the same until now. This was a perfect part-time job for me when my kids were younger, but life changes and kids grow up. Kylan and Cammy, they're in studio here right now. They are both so involved in their travel sports, and I need to be off weekends so I can be with them. I am not going to miss out on those precious moments. That's why I've only worked part-time all these years. But before I go, we wanted to look back at some of my very meaningful time here on the weekend mornings. This journey started with my good friend Kent Justice and I sitting side by side. Back then, it was News Channel 4. Little did I know how long I'd sit at this desk and how many others I'd sit beside. Good morning, I'm Kyle Anderson. And I'm Mindy Dreyer. Thanks so much, everyone, for starting your Sunday morning with all of us here on News Channel 4 today. Pretty soon into the gig, my life changed forever. After doing monthly updates on air concerning my pregnancy, my son was born. All our viewers got to meet baby Kylan. Even Coach Trestle chimed in. We're excited for Mindy and her family and hope everyone's feeling well. And, and uh, we know that uh, she held off until the ball game was over and we appreciate it. And I wouldn't be shocked if I saw her on the sideline Saturday. <laughs> exactly one year and one week later, my daughter Cammie came into the world. And once again, the TV camera came out to get video. Both my kids have basically grown up on NBC4, getting their little faces on screen whenever possible. Hey, can you say go Bucks? Go Bucks. When they could actually say more than just those two words, they were even interviewed. You get to hang out with players, sit on the bench. I really like chilling and, and I think it's really fun. We captured so many of their moments on the weekend mornings. A couple years ago, they even turned into the reporters when we rode the Polar Express. We love Christmas. Don't you love Christmas? Oh, I love Christmas. Oh. And it wasn't just my kids who got the airtime. I was a constant cheerleader and supporter of my husband's Hartley Hawks. Together, we watched highlights and moments of his basketball team, including when they became team Courtney in support of cancer survivor Courtney Hodges. Every time I brought a new dog into my family, I shared the news with all of you. I also talked openly about my father's death and my mom's recent bout with cancer. And oh, how I loved interviewing everyone in our Sunday chat segments. At first, it's disbelief because it's such a whirlwind. People ask me, is there ever a closure? And I'm like, there'll never be closure. There is nothing I like more than talking with incredible people like Brock B. Rock Johnson to Ohio's First Lady. I often sat on set with one of my all-time favorites, Jim Tressel. And of course, there's all the Ohio State clothes I wore every single game day Saturday during countless football seasons. Or how about those Buckeye bios? But did they not have TV in Kentucky when you grew up? For several years, I interviewed the senior football players, letting you see a different, more casual side to these guys. I can't see their heads. All I see is your head. And that's how, that's <laughs> funny. That'd be a good shot. Yeah. <laughs> and I absolutely cherished showcasing animal stories. They were always near and dear to my heart. But most of all, the show allowed me to simply have fun. I will never forget all the people I worked with, from my dear friend Tom McNutt. <laughs> oh, he's going to hop on your head next. Look at him. <laughs> how about that? To the good-hearted home improvement expert, well, Ron Speck. This type of decking, you don't have to stain it ever. And I'm so thankful for all the places I got to see in our Where in Ohio segments. I did those with Marshall, Dave, and even Harrison and I got to go on a couple adventures together as well. Quite honestly, really appreciated getting to know all of you, our loyal, ever so faithful viewers. I sincerely hope that in the last 15 years, I've helped make your weekend mornings a little brighter. The news is often filled with serious negative stories. Our Saturday and Sunday mornings together were a refreshing break from that and a constant reminder to smile more. Life is too short not to be happy. Everybody, see ya. Bye bye. So I guess this is it, but I am going to still be at NBC4 as a freelancer, meaning I'm going to do some, continue to do those happy, inspirational stories, probably with you, hopefully, LJ. LJ and Hootie have been just such great friends of mine. Everybody here is so important to me. My mom, can you believe it's coming to an end? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's ready. And Tom McNutt, oh my gosh, Central Ohio loved you so much, and you made it in here for me today. That means so much. Hey, we were together a long time, Mindy, and uh, I always love to talk to you because you 
you really changed my directions at times, and we really had fun on the show. So, and, and I think we taught him something. I think we did, too. I think we did, too. Just to hey, laugh a little bit more. Hey, yeah. Hey, I think we need to, and uh, I thought the interaction all the time was great, yep. and you were the best one I ever worked with. When, I, when I first started this, I think like they changed anchors about every uh, three months. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, know, this I, is it now. Tom, we got one more change. Monica, you're taking over for me. And you're going to do great with Harrison. Dave Mazza, you're standing over there. Thanks to all you guys for coming back. Larry, my kids, my niece, my sister, everybody here. Thank yep. you. <laughs>